Hey there, my name is Dimitri, and in this video, we're gonna dive into some of the most interesting ways that you can use Jotform data with Claude 3.5 to take your results from your forms to a world where I don't even know how to say it, but it's gonna blow your mind what you can take your data and do with it, analyze, utilize the information from the forms. Let's get ready for one of the most intriguing AI experiences you're ever gonna have. So I have this employee satisfaction survey. It's really great. It has a lot of data on here and it can be downloaded as a CSV, an Excel file, as a PDF. So I do want to call out that Jotform does actually have its own report builder product. Um, you can actually check this out at this uh, URL right here. It has the ability to generate visual charts and graphs out of submission data. So users can check that out if that's all that they really need, but they can actually use Claude for its AI abilities to analyze and extract insights or recommendations from the data, taking it even further. This is a lot of data. There's a total of 2000 rows and what we can essentially do is take this data and analyze it. Claude has the ability to not only just analyze it, but create dashboards and much, much more. So let's let's dive into how to do this. This is this is incredible. So obviously I'm gonna download this data into a CSV and then upload it to Claude. It's very simple. Employee satisfaction survey. So first I'm just gonna ask, can I have a dashboard view? of this employee satisfaction survey. You'll see that it says, certainly, I'd be happy to create a dashboard for the view of employee satisfaction. This is what I'm saying, it's crazy, watch this. This is, this is nuts. All right, so it's giving you uh, the code in order to make this happen. And then it's making it. That's right, no, 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 you're not imagining what I'm. you're seeing right now, right? This large language model made a dashboard about this data. So this is the code and this is the preview, and if I wanna refresh the data, I can. So you'll see that we have an even split of the different levels of satisfaction. Um, and just to note that there's not any error, obviously this is a test sample, and you'll see that there is different levels regarding the different departments. You see that their top five concerns were mainly salary, work-life balance, career growth, and then these are the other ones here. So um, first of all, I can download this to a file, and that's amazing. But second of all, I want to say split the data in a different way, right? Like, could you show me a chart showcasing the percentages of different ratings for, let's find the name of the column again, salary rating. Now, I just want you to keep this in mind. These are things that matter in order for making your business transactions whether it be internally or externally with forms more effective. Being able to analyze data that you receive is very important. If you have a satisfaction survey and you don't know how to look at it, uh, doesn't really matter. So as you can see here, it actually just added another chart and you'll see 30% said it was good salary. Then it was 25% said average, 20% poor, 10% very poor and 50% e and 15% excellent. So that's a great way to help me know more. And I can show this to my superiors if I'm the HR person that made this survey. And another thing I could do outside of this amazingness is just ask some questions as to what are some suggestions you would give to the head of HR at the company with this employee satisfaction survey based on the data results. And from this, as the head of HR here, I'm gonna have some hard data and it's gonna give me this response, which is amazing. And the recommendations won't be perfect, but rather than looking at a huge data set, it'll give me some good recommendations as to what are the most important things to look at. And then based on my company's values and what they're able to do, move forward with that. As you can see here, so here's some of the main points. Compensation review with 43% of employees rating their satisfaction of their salary as poor or very poor. It's a critical area to address. Okay, so I guess, and career development. So I guess since those are the top two ones, I could then ask what are ways that I can address the compensation review and career development problems ASAP without losing profit. And if I had to take a guess, it would probably give me some great examples of what it could like do, like implement a total reward statement. Yes, yeah, spot bonuses, flexible benefits, 
implement a profit sharing plan. Yeah, all of these are more so like if the person performs better, then the company performs better and the person also makes more money. So these are some of the ideas that it's going to give me. Career development strategies, establish a formal mentorship program. Maybe that's not something that we have. I know I've had that at previous companies I've worked at and it worked well. Implement job rotation programs. Also a good idea. Gig marketplaces within the actual place itself. That's actually a pretty good idea. So all of these things are possible, but are they going to be effective for my business? So then I'd have to tell it more about what I want from my employees and how it can kind of coincide with the data we got and the ideas that Claude is you know, presenting me. And I, I think overall we're, we're in a position where AI has actively shown me so much here. I mean, we're talking about building a dashboard, right? This is incredible. And this code can be usable on platforms that can showcase this. And I can obviously use this for presentations. And I'm just very grateful that this product exists because if you use JotForm, check the link in the description down below and have all this data, and then you have it downloaded, you have a perfect workflow from data coming in through data being presented and analyzed with Claude 3.5. With that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any other pieces of content about AI that you wanna learn about, please let me know. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.